She's been Riot Cabaret champion for 500 consecutive days. Let's celebrate Nina Samuels. Now, without taking you ringside, I can't show you how to shoot ringside unless I put a camera on the top of my camera ringside so I can show you how I shoot ringside. That's what we've done today. Nina Samuels has been Riot Cabaret champion for 500 consecutive days. And at the last show, she defended her title against pink-haired Harley Hudson at the Clapham Grand in London. We've strapped a GoPro to the top of the camera so you can see what I see as I was shooting. We start off on a 24 to 105 wide angle lens, but we move on to a long lens, to a 70 to 200. F2.8 L series lens, for those of you who are interested in that sort of stuff. And I'm just gonna show you the difference of shooting wide angle zoom ringside to shooting sort of like medium zoom ringside, if that makes sense. 70 to 200 gets you a little bit more distance. But we're gonna start off with the entrances first. And as Nina comes to the ring here, we're in this small little gap just between uh, the ring and the entranceway. Nina's coming through, she just hits the spotlight there. Arms out nice and wide, championship round the waist. Cassis just behind her. She does this wide arm thing as she comes through. And we can see that. And we can see that on the two images here where we've got the first one here with her with the hands around the waist, the leading lines of the ropes coming to her at the back of the room. And just as she hits that spotlight, we get a lovely little light on her there. And then she comes forward and we're nice and low and underneath these spread arms coming nice and wide and just a really, really dramatic shot on entrance there. As she comes in with Cassius there side by side, they do a great pose for me. Switch to portrait just quickly. I managed to capture those two shots there. And what Nina really does well there, which I love, is this sort of like um, Disney villain style sort of snarl and laugh, an evil laugh as she sort of comes through. They both do it perfectly, actually. Uh, that portrait shot is great because it gets both of their footwear in there. I know they're super, super proud of the footwear and the fact that it was matching on the day in terms of color. So I made sure to get that in. And as they come away from the entrance, we'll notice this. Look at Cassius, cheeky as hell. And that's the shot we captured there of Cassius coming off of the ring ramp onto the side there. <sighs> NSFW is all I'm saying. So as they make their way to ringside, we see Nina there on the top turnbuckle and we see Cassius there just below. And we managed just to sneak around and just get enough light there just to get Cassius up on the ring apron, sort of looking up with that sort of split lighting there across with the, with the, with the evil laugh as well. We come into ring, we're on the side here. We don't get the confrontation because it's a little bit side on. Nina's backs to us, but we do get this shot here. Playing up to the hard cam, which is 90 degrees round to my right there, and that's the shot we managed to capture them. That it's, it's a it's a mimicked pose of what they did on the entranceway on the way through. So I was safe in the knowledge that I'd already got it. It was nice to get it on a slightly different angle here. Music's off, and we focus on Harley because Harley's talking to someone in the audience there. We managed to get the reaction here, which is a really really nice moment. Now, as we start to work our way around the ring, we're just trying to work out what is going to be the best angle for me. A quick turn to portrait here gets this shot here of Harley looking across at Nina and she just darts her eyes just back into camera ringside there, which is really, really nice. It gets a great shot there. But as I'm fighting on this side of the ring, opposite hard cam, I'm not getting the shots that I want. I'm not getting any faces. I'm not getting anything looking towards me. So it's at this point that I decide to dart round to completely the other side of the ring and to switch lenses so that we can shoot closer to the hard cam on a longer lens and just see what different effects we're gonna get. And we're gonna show you that now. So here comes the switch. I always shoot with two cameras ringside, shoot with the, with the wider 24 to 105 and this 70 to 200. That first shot there, we're just establishing, because we've changed apertures, we're just establishing our settings, making sure that we're shooting uh, at the right shutter speed and the right ISOs. I try and shoot manually as much as possible in these, so I've got full control over everything. For those interested, I'm shooting at f3.5, just a, just a shade off of the widest aperture there, just to make sure that there is a little bit of margin for error, just in case. ISO of 8000s, the R6 can handle that really, really well. And we're shooting at 1 800th of a second to try and freeze that uh, action as much as possible. So our first shot here will be the face off. And they slowly walk into the ring. I can just duck between that lower and that middle rope and get them jacking at each other here. And you can see the hand go up. And you see the slap, and we managed to get the slap, 
perfectly on the side of the face there, get the full contact and uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a challenging capture to get, but we have got it on the impact, we have got it on the hit, so we, we're gonna be using that shot there. Hit back there from Harley, and then eventually we go into our first hold of the match, which after the series of strikes where the head's turning away from us all the time, we get that shot there, where she comes around from behind and just grabs Nina from behind. What I like about this is how short Harley looks compared to, compared to Nina, giving sort of Nina that sort of domineering approach there to that shot. She comes around behind, and then we'll notice that the Irish whip after this reversal here comes off the back rope and bang, straight into the camera, straight into the hard cam, straight down our lens. We've gone wider on this shot here using the width of the 70 mil uh, ability of that 70 to 200 lens. And what that has allowed us to do is to get the branding in the background so that the company that we're shooting for has good branding on that shot. As the whip comes back in, crossbody, for two, we walk down a few steps just to get a different angle and just in time there, because on that lower angle, we can get underneath the rope and we can capture this shot here of Harley with a finger in the air, uh, ready to do her next assault. She comes across to the side, but oh no, it's Cassius, evil man. Uh, and the kick, to the, uh, the kick to the face there, and all of a sudden Nina's on top. And what we noticed, we didn't see Cassius ringside there because we were amongst fans. So I'm just trying to work out what angle I can get when he next gets involved and it's there. So I'm just looking through those fans here and this little bit of redness that you see in the front of the picture, that's from the hair color of the fans that we've actually got in front of us there between us and Cassius. The narrow depth of field has made sure that that is fully out of focus. It's given us a nice hue over the whole thing and we can see the hand coming across to reach for the title and Cassius's little face over the top is a nice little capture that one. So we're sitting there and we're just waiting to see what happens. Nina taking her time in the ring, using the ropes. Referee Tom Scarborough should be on top of this more. There he is, calls for the rope break. And as she comes across, big drop kick. I didn't quite get it, because again, we're on the longer focal length, shooting through people, I was shooting for something else. But what I can do is I can successfully reposition myself so that when the two count comes in, we've got the referee in the background and Nina looking straight towards us with that frustrated face there. Love that shot. And again, the next shot there with Tom, just showing Nina the two, showing her that it was just a two count and she's gonna have to do more to win the match. Nina now changes corners, comes across to this side here. Completely different lighting set up in this corner. So there's a fall off from the ring with this lighting setup. You can see she immediately drops into darkness there when she's in, uh, in that corner there. Knowing that she's still there, I probably would have just knocked up the ISO just a little bit, bring it, bring, bring that a couple of stops forward so that I could expose for it. But that big light behind is allowing us to get lots of flare through the shot, lots of backlighting through the, through the shot. And it's just a nice different type of exposure there uh, for this move in the corner, which we know Nina is gonna give us plenty of time uh, to capture. The whip comes out, big elbow to the corner, snap mare into the middle of the ring, Another one over the top, and she'll come in now for the pin. The moves, again, I'll, and I'll repeat this again, the moves sometimes aren't the best things to photograph. Sometimes you're looking for the reactions and pinfalls and, and kickouts are, are great things to get reactions for. And we've got two great reactions here. We've got the desperate reaction of Nina trying to get the three count on the pin and the reaction there of Harley as she escapes the pin there straight down the middle of the lens with Nina slightly out of focus in the background. Moving on. We see that a submission has been applied and we can capture that here in one of two ways. We've got one there with the horizontal and then we flip it round uh, to portrait to get the second one. And then we zoom in even closer, which we can see there. Just move, there we go, just move my thumb across just to get a real super uh, close up uh, shot there of the submission. Really, really, so a little bit more abstract there, especially with Harley's face coming right back into frame and, and uh, Nina looking off camera, uh, looking towards the referee, trying to get that submission. We can get a clear shot here of Cassius on the side and, then, and we managed to get this expression here as the submission and the moves are being applied there. So a nice simple capture between the ropes there of Cassius holding onto the belt. And then Nina continuing her assault in the corner. Fight back there from Harley, playing the plucky underdog, playing the fan favorite, swinging from the waist. 
Another submission, but it's too dark there really for me to get anything of good value there in that corner. So I'm just waiting to see where they go next. Nina eventually brings it back into the middle of the ring where I know exactly how the lighting is hitting them and how good the lighting is there and what settings to use. So I'm back in there. And Nina's gonna pick her up here. Looking for a super, and that little moment there, it was only a fraction of a moment. Did you see it? Only a little bit of a moment, but we managed to capture that with the referee looking on and Harley's expression there uh, coming straight down the middle of the lens. Harley's fight back begins. She goes for a desperation pin here, and we can just see her through the referee there in the foreground, and we can just see her desperation on her face as she tries to get that pinfall for the championship off of Nina Samuels. Kicks to the corner now. And this is, re this is really nice. It's one of my favorite photos from the whole match here. She calls for the, the referee calls for the rope break and that desperate, just it was again, only a tiny moment, but she hardly comes back into the middle of the ring where I know the lighting is and just pulls this expression before she continues her next assault. Lovely shot that. Harley's coming in, into the turn, into the post. And here, is really key. Now I know it's dark in that corner of the ring, but I know that Nina's gonna use every tactic she can to hold on to the belt. That's why she's been champion for 500 days. To get the moment where Nina puts her foot on the ropes to secure the pinfall is super key to the storytelling, super key to the promoter, super key to putting that out there as to why Nina's your champion. So even though it's darker conditions, I know I need to capture that shot. So I've managed to capture it as best as I can here. And it's called cool for ring the bell because that's three. We managed to get this shot here of Harley looking shocked. Even though she's in darkness, we can just about pick up some of the detail there from her facial expression. Referee Tom Scarborough has the belt. He doesn't hold her arm off too long. I've just about managed to capture this shot here of him with her. And then Nina on the right hand side with the championship belt above her head. The confetti drops <laughs> all on one side of the ring. And I'm not quite quick enough to capture it, but I am quick enough to capture this, which is Cassius coming into the ring to celebrate, so we managed to get that. But hello, in the background, we have something happening on the screen, which is key to this match. It's a VAR match. VAR is in force, so cheating can't happen. Every pinfall will be reviewed to see if it is a clean pin. The referee's whistle comes out. The referee points to the back. Now, this shot here... We can't really see anyone's face, but it's important to me that I've got the confetti coming down and the words check, pin, fall in the background. As Nina is looking on there, holding her belt, we could see that I took two quick shots. The first one I took was focused on Nina with her face holding onto the championship belt with just the last dregs of the confetti coming down. The second one, switch focus. And we put the focus on the backdrop, focus on that screen. I had to take a few shots because these sorts of screens have light emissions that don't often sync up with your, with your camera speed. So I managed to get one here where we can see VAR, checking pinfall, possible illegal pin with Nina slightly out of focus in the foreground. And as we wait to see what happens, check complete illegal pin, match continues. And we managed to get the result up on the screen there. But then by flicking it round to portrait, as you see at the end, we get this anguish, this desperation of Nina between the ropes with the check complete sign in the background. And the match continues. Now, I may not have enough time to do the full match in this video. I might do the second half of the match later because we do have that with a couple of lens changes. If you want to see the second half of the match, drop me a comment in the comments below. Leave something nice, like a like. All those subscriptions, you know all those things anyway. If you've enjoyed it, tell other people about it. Congratulations to Nina on your 500 days as champion. Let's see if it continues. Let's see how many other championship belts you're going to collect before the year ends. If you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do. If you are a photographer and you're looking for a portfolio review, you can get one. Email me portraitofarrestler at gmail.com. We'll arrange that for you. And as ever, all the very best.